everybody, welcome to a new little video and very welcome to my new kitchen. It's the first video ever that I film in here and I'm actually quite a little bit excited because I have no idea how it's going to go. So I hope all of you are doing very well today and that you enjoy the gorgeous autumn mood which is all over the place already. And I'm so excited, I love this autumn so much, it's definitely together with spring, my favourite time of the year. And I'm just very excited that it's finally time to get all over the place with the autumn decorations and to get fully into the mood and to celebrate that autumn is here. And since it's so wonderfully autumnal, I just wanted to share one of my absolute favourite recipes for autumn time today with you. Also, since this is the time to harvest and since all the apples are ripe on the trees and everything, I just thought I'd share a recipe with you, including all those gorgeous, delicious, beautiful apples you can get everywhere at the moment. We've already had so many apples out of the garden this year and we are pretty much constantly cooking or baking apple everything because we just had so many it's definitely more than five kilos already that we cooked and baked i thought i might as well just show you and share a recipe with you which i really really love and i can make a video about one of the um apple cooking or baking sessions here they are look how pretty they are just perfect between red and green so yes let's do something with those the first time ever that I made this recipe was quite some time ago, I think already years ago for a birthday dinner, so unfortunately I have no idea where I got this recipe from, but I'm actually quite sure that it was from Pinterest. Where I get most of my favorite recipes actually and um, so I'll try to leave all the ingredients in the description box at this time since I have no idea where I got the recipe and no link or anything um, so either I share all the ingredients and the description of the the direction for the recipe in the description box or we'll see if I find the recipe online again so that the person who created this will be credited Yes, and since I love this recipe so much, and since it's actually perfect for pretty much every occasion, for fancier like dinner party or for a nice afternoon tea or even just for a sweet treat, I wanted to film a little video about it and just let you all know about this great recipe. And it's so quick and easy and so delicious, I'm sure everybody will love that, at least everybody who likes apple. So yes, the only thing that takes a little bit of time is actually just peeling and cutting the apples and everything else is just actually no work and that actually gets a lot quicker if you have somebody to help you with that stuff. So yes, here we go. I share with you my favourite apple recipe, my favourite recipe overall for this time of the year, my favourite mini apple pie recipe. So the first and pretty much the only decision you have to make when preparing uh, the recipe and getting all the ingredients is whether you want to make your own dough or if you want to get a like ready-made one from the store. To be honest, I actually never made the dough myself. I am, it's not that I don't want to, but most of the time I just don't have the time to. So most of the time just get my pastry dough all done and ready at the store so you save a lot of time doing that. So I have it here, ready rolled out and only waiting to be cut into little circles for this recipe. So yes, first of all, of course, your apples. And like I've shown you already, I have mine here, um, right off the garden. And um, yes, so let's get started with those ones. Since I'm going to peel them anyway, um, there's not much sense in washing them, but you, of course you can wash them anyways if you like that more. But of course it's totally your decision, you can leave the peel on. Um, I don't think that it changes a lot in uh, the taste, but of course uh, the peel stays a lot harder than uh, the flesh of the apple. So you definitely will have a difference in consistency and the filling of your yeah, little apple pies. But if you like that or if you don't have a problem with that, of course you can leave the peel on but don't forget to wash them then, even if they are out of guard because the air is not clean and planes and cars and everything. So make sure that you wash them if you want to leave the peel on. My apples are actually a good mixture between like sweeter and sour ones. Besides, I never really know with apples out of the garden. I do not really know how they're going to taste, but I actually do like that a lot. The recipe itself says actually that you need six large Granny Smith apples. Since I'm normally using like a 
like a regular 12 piece like muffin tin. Um, I actually never needed six apples, but it's actually hard to say since you never know how big they are and large is like, yes, a large apple is a large apple, but there are different definitions for that. So if you want to make this recipe, just get six apples and they will see how many you actually need. And yes, so let's get started with peeling the apples and after that you're just going to want to dice them into like half an inch sized like little bits. on and after peeling and cutting the apples the magical bit kind of starts or if I'm not over exaggerating let's do um, the delicious part starts. I never actually used less apples because to be honest uh, the next step will give you a delicious dessert even if you don't need all of your apples because just all of your apples go into a pot or into a pan. I prefer a pot to be honest mainly because it's a little easy to mix everything and in a pan I always I tend to just throw everything anywhere because I'm not like I am a slow stirring cook or baker I just stir crazily and everywhere I pulls off that so I prefer a pot this one's actually quite maybe a little bit too big but the other one is in um, the dishwasher so I'm going to go with that and you're going to want to mix um, your butter, your apples, just some brown sugar and some cinnamon. The recipe says one teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of brown sugar or maple sugar. It's a little bit up to your taste if you like it sweeter. Of course you can add a little bit more sugar. If you love cinnamon like me then you can add more or less. So I tend to go with the recipe and then I taste them and then I change it a little bit but I also tend to use a little bit less sugar because if your apples are sweeter, of course taste your apples before, you don't need as much sugar as the recipe says maybe or if they are really sour then maybe you want to add a little bit more but like I said, just to your taste and I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon because quite, quite frankly I'm obsessed with cinnamon especially with autumn and winter coming up and Christmas not too far away just cinnamon is the best thing. Bring it to a boil and yes as soon as they boil reduce the heat because you don't want to overcook your apples because they are going to get very mushy and because they're going in the oven afterwards make sure that they are just a little bit softer like when you pierce it with a fork just that you can pierce them but that they are not falling apart. So now my apples are ready it's actually so delicious honestly even though you do not need uh, six apples just to make them because of this it's just so good. And maybe I can even serve this together with the little cakes. Mm. So, so good. You can now begin to prepare your dough. Depending on if you have a fresh dough or a bought one, um, you're going to want to just roll it out if it's your own dough of course so get your dough out of the fridge and roll it out if you make your own otherwise just your board one out of the packaging so first you're going to want to create the bottom of your little pies of course the thing that goes into the muffin tin and it's actually really easy from here on you just get a cup or a mug or a drinking glass or whatever that fits size wise for your muffin tin uh, make sure that it's a little bit bigger because of course you want to Think about the thing that goes down, so the sides and everything is nicely covered. But get something that has the right size, and then you're just going to want to cut 12 or 6. I'm making 6, so um, as many little pie bottoms as you need, and that's actually that easy. And now since 
we have all the little bottom thingies for our pies. Of course, the filling wants to go in, so I'll get your pot and a nice spoon. I always add like two to three tablespoons. You really want to stuff it in there. But also I made the experience that if you put too much of your filling in, it's a little bit harder to close them up later on. Um, but actually totally up to you, I would say. It's just, in my experience, a little easier if you do not stuff it too much. But get a lot of apples in there because it's the delicious part and... And the last step before your little pies get into the oven is now the pie crust kind of. So the recipe says, and it's actually what I made so far most of the time, is that you cut another set of little circles, just smaller ones because they just want to cover your little pies. Just cut them out and make them ready to go on top of your little pies. Before you put them on, you're going to want to mix up one egg. Just get the egg yolk and the white in a cup, mix them up with a little fork and then you want to get a little brush so you can wash like the top edge of your pies or of your crusts so that it will stick a lot easier together and they will not get apart whilst baking. The first time I made this recipe I did not use enough of the egg wash and it actually kind of separated. It was kind of cute either, but it's actually not what we wanted. Also what I do is when I used up all my dough, I get just the rest of it and make like the regular like grit of a classic pie. It's actually really, really cute and most people actually tend to go for those ones instead of the completely toast ones. Not a one, but they seem to like it more. All right, and then in the oven they go. They look so, so cute. So I can't wait to see how they turn out this time. Also, what you can do to make them nice and golden is just wash the top of either your circles or your grid with a little bit more of the egg wash. And they will turn out so, so, so pretty, golden and very, very deliciously looking. All right, and now that everything is prepared, you're going to want to put your little pies into the oven. I preheated it to 180 degrees and um, the recipe says for about 30 to 35 minutes if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. Most of the time it actually takes a bit long, I would say. Also, uh, make sure that the bottom is nicely baked because I often had the problem that the top was very pretty nice but the bottom because of the soggy like apple filling. Um, it gets quite soggy on the bottom so you want to make sure that everything is nicely baked through and yes so 35 minutes is most of the time a good um, thing but I don't know how your oven bakes every oven is a little bit different so maybe set your timer to 30 minutes and then you will see guys I really really wish there was such a thing as smell vision because of the smell of those little cakes it's just so 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 good the kitchen now sounds absolutely heavenly they look so delicious and yummy and pretty look at those so cute honestly of course I would recommend that you leave them in the little trays for a minute just make sure they cool down and that everything stays together because of course all the apple juice and everything came out a little bit and to make sure that you do not ruin them when trying to get them out of the little tin just leave them a little bit short moment and then you can get them out now the absolutely best way to serve these now will be with a little bit of powdered sugar and maybe a little bit of vanilla ice cream unfortunately I totally forgot to get, to get vanilla ice cream but you know what I'm just going to show you how gorgeous they look with a little bit of powdered sugar on top they will be just as delicious That's now the point to chuck into it and to just enjoy and eat those because it's just one of the most delicious things ever. Yes, I hope that you will enjoy this little recipe when you recreate it or if you just now think I have apples lying around and I really want to try it. Then I hope you will enjoy this recipe and my little mini apple pies. Maybe 
soon. Also don't forget to let me know if you try them and share your pictures with me. I would love to see it and how you create them and how you decorate them. Of course you can do everything with the rest of the dough. Maybe cut the leaves or whatever you want to do. Flowers and decorate them like um, most of the apple pies or other pies are often decorated. It's so cute. And you can do so many creative and cute things. Yes, happy baking everybody! I hope that you will enjoy it and then you will enjoy your pies and of course all the good other things um, which come with autumn time. I hope that you have a wonderful time. I hope that you are like me, an autumn lover and that you're not totally desperate now that summer is over because look outside the window. We have the most gorgeous weather of the recently. It's just the perfect autumn time golden sunshine everything it's so beautiful thank you so 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 much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it now don't forget to get to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel to let me know that you liked it and that you maybe would love to see more of it and i would love to have a few more subscribers of course and i would love to have you in my little family over here also don't forget to leave me a little comment down below if you tried this recipe or let me know which recipe is your favorite to make in uh, autumn and this time of the year or if you have a similar recipe but you make something to totally different which you think makes all the difference i would love to hear from you and to chat about your favorite recipes for autumn time so yes everybody have a wonderful time i hope that you enjoy your weekend i hope that that you have a nice time baking and that you will enjoy your little cakes and that I will see you soon on this channel again and I will see you soon so take care and have a wonderful time bye